My dear brothers, Saul, Nico, Walter, and Evan Dolph, when we were deliberating about your ordination to the priesthood, so many questions were thrown at the table. How are they as students? How are their grades? Are they good with human relations? Are they good in public speaking? Are they on time for the prayers? Can they relate with the other seminarians well? And then it dawned on me, all our questions were about your strengths. I think we need to ask the question, what are your weaknesses? And are you weak enough to become priests? You need to be weak in order to be priests. Because sometimes our own strengths become obstacles for the grace of God to be shown in our lives. Are you weak enough so that the power of Christ can truly shine through you? Buti na lang, you're not so good looking. Then you are not an obstacle for us to be reminded of the beauty of God. But we are not looking for supermen. We are not looking for super seminarians. We looked for weak seminarians in whom the power, the strength of God can truly shine. And this morning, do not dare to boast because you were called because of your weaknesses. That those weaknesses made you even more lovable before the Lord. Where sin abounds, where weakness abounds, grace abounds all the more. Are you weak enough to be priests? Are you weak enough to rely solely on the grace of God? Are you weak enough to depend only on the mercy of God? We need you to acknowledge your weakness. Your weakness, your weakness is totally yours. And your weakness is your gift to the Lord. Are they men of character? Are they men of integrity? In other words, is there no discrepancy between their public life and their private life. I gave up asking if you are men of integrity and men of character. Because, brothers, we are not looking for angels. We are looking for men who can be priests. And therefore, my second question to ask is, is he broken enough to be a priest? Because if there is not enough brokenness, there is not enough participation in the passion, in the dying of the Lord. And seminary formation is an exercise, is a formation in breaking and breaking and breaking until you are crushed. And when you are crushed, God will put you back this time into a beautiful mosaic so that you can become life givers for others. Be careful with the breaking of the bread because you're breaking the body of the Lord. And if you break the body of the Lord, you also promise the Lord, Lord, break me. I give you permission to break my body. Brothers, I need to warn you Sometimes that breaking of your heart can come from me. I might hurt you. Or from your brother priests. They might hurt you. But when you are hurt by your brothers, when you are hurt by your archbishop, consider it as a breaking so that you may be finer and finer so that more and more 
you can become life givers. There is no holiness without a willingness to be broken like the body of the Lord. If they gossip about you, if they ignore you, if they take you for granted, if they calumniate you, whisper a prayer of thanksgiving because when they break you, you share in the breaking of the body of the Lord. In the past one year, three priests have been shot and bishops have been ordered to be killed and shot. You are now priests of a hypocritical church and according to them, 90% homosexuals. And then, the question was asked, are they brave enough to hurdle the storm? Are they brave enough to defend the faith? We were looking for brave men. We are looking for courageous men to stand up for the faith, to be martyrs for 2018, 2019, and beyond. My third question, my dear brothers, is, are you afraid enough to be a good priest? Are you afraid enough so that you can be good priests? You must be courageous against error, but you must be afraid of sin. You must be brave to stand up for the Lord, but you must be a coward to be separated from Him. You must be afraid of hypocrisy. You must be afraid of celebrating the Mass in sacrilege. You must be afraid of lying. You must be afraid of lust. You must be afraid of stealing money from the people. You must be afraid of comfort. You must be afraid of convenience. Because all of these distract you from your real vocation. God knows you more than you know yourself. And the beauty of it all is, even if God knows you inside and out, He still calls you, Come, my beloved. Follow me. Are you weak enough to be priests? Are you broken enough to be priests? Are you afraid enough to be priests?